Ella Jenkins is not only a, a National Heritage Fellow, but is known far and wide as the First Lady of Children's Music. Right? <laughs> Born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1924, Miss Jenkins was 32 years old in 1956 when she made her television debut in Chicago as a singer of children's folk songs. The next year, 1957, she made her recording debut at Folkways Records and has become Smithsonian Folkways' longest tenured recording artist. <laughs> Miss Jenkins is credited with blazing a professional trail almost single-handedly, creating a genre and an occupation of children's music. Though her health prevents her from being with us tonight, I know. Let's meet Ella now. I'm not a formal musician, so I don't tell them formal music, but I just how to make sounds and some lyrical things that I can do. Oh, the cuckoo. She's a pretty bird. I love the minor key. It's like people pouring out their hearts. Gonna build me a little castle in the mountains so high so I can hear the cuckoo as she goes flying by. <laughs> I can't imagine that there's anyone that has done more for introducing young audiences to music than Ella Jenkins. She brings it right into the schools, brings it right into community centers, and right into the homes with her numerous recordings that she's done over the years. It's not just about her being a performer or a songstress, but that she genuinely cares about sharing with anyone she comes in contact with. For me, receiving the Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment for the Arts means that I've achieved something and that I'm going to relate to not only one or two or three, but quite a number of people. Did you ever do this? One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, up to the sky. Children can play on the drum easily. I used to come over just beating on a time time. I said, you can make rhythms and sounds. And then next thing you know, they're growing up a little bit and they're taking music lessons. And pretty soon they will be playing very well, yeah. So it's uh, the kind of togetherness. Love everybody have a turn working together. Did you feed my cow? Yes, ma'am. Could you tell me how? Yes, ma'am. Ella Jenkins' gift of music really speaks to her ability to kind of get at this very basic common denominator in us all. Shake hands with friends. Oh, your hands are nice and hot and warm. It's time to go. Shake hands with friends. It's time to go. And I hope I'll see you another day. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Aww. laughs> And now, to pay tribute to Miss Jenkins is a Grammy Award-winning musician. You may have seen him on Sesame Street and just about every other television network, Mr. Dan Zanes. He's accompanied by Haitian-American jazz vocalist and music therapist, therapist Claudia Eliaza. <laughs> I thank you so much for being here. This is so exciting. Thank so, you. how did Ella inspire your work? Well, I'd just like to say before we even answer that question, um, you know, if we seem nervous or excited, <laughs> it's because there's really there's no one who's done more for young people in American musical history than Ella Jenkins, and it's such an honor to be here. Yeah, that's true. Amen. So, having said that, <laughs> <laughs> having said that, you know, I took my daughter, when my daughter was three years old, I took her to see Ella Jenkins at the uh, uh, Bank Street Theater in New York City, and I was just starting my family music um, mm. ex explorations. And um, 
And it, so there's a woman on the stage with nothing but a baritone ukulele, not even six strings, just four. And, uh, and over the course of the next hour, she had every single person in that room either up on stage, singing along, using their hands. Uh, there was movement, there was dance, there was, there was everything. There was everything. There was no wall between her and the audience. We were all in it together in a way I've never, I'd never seen before and I've never seen since. And that was Ella wow. Jenkins' essence. Beautiful. So you said your daughter was three. How old is she now? 22. Wow. That's, a, that's <laughs> kind of a long a, time ago. I've seen a lot of concerts <laughs> since then. <laughs> so how are you continuing her legacy in your own work? Well, you know, as we celebrate Ella's spirit of inclusivity, it really encourages musicians like ourselves to dig deeper, you know, to find more meaning in our music and find ways to make it more inclusive for all people. Mm -hmm. um, as far as Dan and I are concerned, we are very, very passionate about the growing sensory friendly uh, movement. And for mm -hmm. those of you who are unfamiliar with that term, uh, sensory friendly performances are really a way of opening the door, breaking mm -hmm. down barriers, mm -hmm. and creating accessibility to all people because everyone deserves music. Mm. Everyone should have access to quality music. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, Dan and I are truly humbled and honored because recently we were commissioned by the Kennedy Center to create a sensory friendly folk opera, wow. which will be premiering at the Kennedy Center next month, October 6th through the 8th. Um, but that is, again, just a very small example of how Ella's legacy continues to inspire musicians like ourselves. She has touched way, so many lives, so many lives, and we're just beautiful. truly humbled and honored to be here to celebrate it tonight. Oh, beautiful. Can we hear some of Ella's music? Yes, and the, the spirit of uh, partici participation invites all of you to sing along with us. Uh -huh. here's, here's a song called Guide Me that Ella learned from the Freedom Riders. Guide my hands while I run this race. Guide my hands while I run this race. Guide my hands while I run this race. Cause I don't want to run this race in vain. Guide my feet while I run this race. Guide my feet. While I run this race, guide my feet. While I run this race, cause I don't want to run this race in vain. All together, guide my heart. While I run this race, guide my heart. While I run this race, guide my heart. While I run this race, cause I don't want to run this race in vain. together. Here we go. Guide my hands while I run this race. Oh, guide my hands while I run this race. Guide my hands while I run this race. Cause I don't want to run this race in vain. Cause I don't want to run this race in vain. No, I don't want to run this race in vain. Oh, 
All right. So this next tune we're going to do for you is Ella's You Sing a Song and I'll Sing a Song. You familiar with that? Yes, we're going to sing that together. And this is actually one of the best sellers of uh, the history of Folkway Records. So we encourage you to sing along with us on this tune. And we, uh, we did find out from Ella's longtime manager, Bernadelle, that Ella is watching the live stream of tonight's event. So let's all say hello, Ella. We love you. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, now that you know that Ella's watching and listening, <laughs> let's all raise our voices. You sing a song, and I'll sing a song, and we'll sing a song together. You sing a song, and I'll sing a song, in warm sing a song and I'll sing a song. We'll sing a song together. You sing a song and I'll sing a song in warm or wintry weather. You play a tune and I'll play a tune and we'll play a tune together. You play a tune and I'll play a tune in warm or wintry weather. Thank <laughs> you. 